Let's talk about panel interviews, and those are becoming more popular all the time. And that's a situation where you have multiple interviewers and one candidate. So it's you and maybe three, four, five, maybe even more people on a panel and a table in front of you asking you questions and doing an interview uh, coming kind of coming from all directions, right? So you got to be prepared that uh, people will ask different questions at different times. And usually what you see is like two or three people really dominate the conversation, will really ask the bulk of the questions. Now, does that mean you should spend all your time just focus on those two to three people? No, not at all. It's kind of like you're on stage. You want to be able to look from side to side and be able to have eye contact with everybody on the panel. Sure, address their question directly and ask follow-up questions directly. But that person who's not asking the questions might be the actual hiring manager or the boss's boss who's really taking the notes on it and really maybe making a decision as they sit back and watch you interact with the panel. So uh, be aware you want to interact with the whole panel, but be prepared also that you might get all the questions from maybe a couple, two or three people. Usually at this point of the process too, it's usually not a screening interview because that's a lot of salary and a lot of talent who's now doing a bunch of interviews. So you're usually further along in the process. You might even be towards the end of the process, which is a good a good thing. Maybe it's done to you and two or three or four other candidates and they've assembled a panel to really you know look at folks as far as really narrowing it down and getting a lot of perspectives very, very quickly. That's the advantage for the organization. Also where you sometimes see panel interviews is where people are interviewing for multiple locations, maybe the same position, but in multiple locations. Uh, particularly if you're relocatable, you're willing to live anywhere in a particular country or maybe even anywhere in the world, you might have people on that panel that might be from District A on the west and District B from the east and District C from the north and District E from the south, and they all are hiring for the same position and you might end up go working for any one of those four people. So understand that as well too. And all those positions and all those uh, um, you know, kind of questions they ask are valid for everybody. And they kind of as a group then get together and share their opinions of a candidate. So with panel interviews becoming very, very common, uh, various managers, various people at different levels of the organization, you might usually have a human resource person, hiring manager, you might have a boss there too, maybe even a team member who would be a peer could be on this panel as well. And be ready that questions could come from any direction on any different things. You know, human resource might care about values of the company. The hiring manager might be worried about the technical aspects of the job. And a team member might be worried about, hey, can we get along? So panel interviews, real common. Don't be thrown off by them. Just think of yourself as on stage, have fun with it, and interact with that entire panel, and you'll do great.